Welcome to the splendid marble lobby of the Rada, the Ukrainian parliament. A hive of activity today, a hive of rumours and speculation because all these journalists here have gathered to try and find out why on earth the country's new unity government has not yet been created as was promised yesterday. Well, the reason is that some good old-fashioned horse trading between the established political parties is taking place. Uh, some of them are not happy that other parties have grabbed too many of the key cabinet posts. Um, there's apparently a, a bit of a tiff going on between the punch party of uh, Vitaly Klitschko, the heavyweight boxing champion, a relatively new arrival to the political scene here, but of course he has made his name on the barricades in the last few months. And he's not happy that the party of Yulia Tymoshenko, the fatherland party, has grabbed too many of the key posts. Bring in the acting vice president, uh, a man called Alexander Tuchnikov, who uh, is running the show at the moment. He actually met with Catherine Ashton yesterday. She is the EU's foreign affairs envoy. She is here to heal some of the wounds and issue some promises, perhaps financial as well, um, to try and make sure that the new Ukraine is firmly embedded within the embrace of the EU and not Russia. Um, Trichnikov himself is a very interesting character. He is a metallurgist from the east of the country, from the traditionally pro-Russian part of the country. He's a very close ally of Yulia Tymoshenko. He's also, by the way, a crime writer and a filmmaker. In fact, um, one of his films was Ukraine's entry um, to an international film festival. I think it was the Cannes Festival a few years ago. Uh, fascinating fellow. Uh, not tipped by too many people here to become either Prime Minister or President, but certainly a power player who's been absolutely key in uh, coaxing the transition to a new government in the last few days, although you haven't seen much of him on the barricades and the like uh, because uh, he likes to take uh, uh, a backstage job. Anyway, so these are characters all jockeying for position at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, outside on the square and indeed on the street outside Parliament, the barricades are still up albeit in a slightly more relaxed mood, and the, the people who made this revolution, the people of Maidan, they are saying, hang on a minute, all this horse trading in Parliament is a little bit too much like business as usual. We want fresh faces, we want a new beginning, we want this to be a genuine rebirth of Ukraine, and not a rehashing of the Orange Revolution of 2004, which brought some rather unpleasant, uh, slightly disappointing characters, I should say, uh, to power. So that's what they want. They want freshness across the board. Tabula rasa. Trouble is, who are these new faces? Where will they come from? And do they have the clout in this building to actually gain political power? Meanwhile, in the south of the country, in the Crimean Peninsula, in Sevastopol, which of course um, is a f very important former Soviet naval base, now a Ukrainian naval base, um, also home to many Russian veterans, uh, they were given the choice in the Soviet era, uh, if you had been in the, in the armed forces, of either retiring to Leningrad, to Moscow, or to Sevastopol, which is a bit like the Costa Brava of uh, the Black Sea. And of course, they chose the Costa Brava. So heavily influenced by Russians, that part of the world. That's where President Yanukovych, now a fugitive from uh, criminal justice, uh, accused of the mass murder of innocent civilians, is apparently hiding, last seen, uh, in the city of Balaclava, wearing one, no less. Um, so that's where a lot of people have gone to see if they can find him there. All sorts of rumors flying around. Is he in a monastery, a, an Orthodox monastery, close to the Moscow Patriarchate, as opposed to uh, monasteries that are close to the, um, the Patriarchate here? The church is also split. Uh, is he hiding in someone's cellar? Is he in a cave? We have no idea. He might have even fled the country. The point is, the manhunt is on and the hunt for a new government is on right here.